Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another video on quadratic equations, a very important topic for class 10 students and all the placement exams in which quantitative aptitude is asked. Right? So let's see what we have for this particular video. Here we have some word problems which are based on speed and time. You remember? upstream, downstream and slowing down, uh, speeding up, all those type of uh, questions, you know, very, very important. So, watch the entire video of this important chapter of quadratic equations. Let me also tell you how you can excel in the competitive exams. This is the exclusive, very nominal costing super combo of quant and reasoning. So, you can see in the ebook of short tricks, we have given 350 different short tricks covering 24 different topics. We have the video support, we have a fully solved uh, short tricks ebook and it develops 10 times faster speed of calculation. Likewise, in the reasoning course, we have 18 important topics covered, concepts, illustrations, practice questions and previous year questions are given along with the video support. So if you don't understand something from the ebook, click the link, watch the video. So this is the best time to grab a copy of this particular ebook of short tricks. Do WhatsApp. On this number 9996369963, you can find this number in the description also here. Okay, go for this. It's an amazing, amazing combo of quant and reasoning. Right, friends. So let's take up the first question for the video. In a flight of 2,800 kilometers, so the distance given is 2,800 kilometers, an aircraft was slowed down due to bad weather. Now. We need to find the original duration of the flight, right? But do we have to assume duration as x? Let's check. The aircraft is slowed down. So there was some usual speed, right, with which it was moving. So I will assume the usual speed as x kmph, right? And therefore, the usual time which it was taking is distance upon speed and that is distance is 2800 and speed was x so these many hours it was taking with usual speed now but what happened was the aircraft was slowed down due to bad weather so the new speed reduced by 100 kilometers per hour so what is the new speed the new speed now is 100 kilometer per hour less so earlier it was x now it is x minus 100 km per hour and therefore the new time that will also change and the new time will be the distance remains the same 2800 divided by the new speed which is x minus 100 and therefore the new time and the new speed these are, these are two more things which we have to uh, write down here and now the formulation of the equation what is this 30 minutes? The 30 minutes is the time difference. It says the time increased by 30 minutes. So the difference between the original time and the new time is 30 minutes. But which one is more? Is this time more or this time more? See, when speed reduces, the time increases. And therefore, this time is more than the usual time. The difference between these two, that means 2800 upon x minus 100 and 2800 upon x. The difference between these two is 30 minutes and 30 minutes has to be converted into hours because we are considering everything in hours. Right? So, 30 minutes means 1 by 2 r. And now, we can formulate this type of equation and take the LCM and solve it. Okay. So now you have the equation, right? So let's take the LCM here. X times X minus 100. And we just need to cross multiply here. 2800 X minus, cross multiply like this. 2800 X and plus 2800 times 100 is 280000. So we have four zeros equal to one by two. So this cancels out. And what else? Cross multiply x square minus 100x and this is going to give me 56 followed by 4 zeros minus 56 followed by 4 zeros 
equal to 0 is the required quadratic equation. Now 56 is 8, 7s are 56, right? So 800 and 700, the middle term split factors, x square minus 800 plus 700 and minus 5, 6 followed by 4 zeros equal to 0. So this gives me x minus 800 as one factor and x plus 700 as the other factor. This I have to reject. Why? Because here x will be negative. What is x? x is usual speed. So that can't be negative. That gives me x minus 800 as 0 or x equal to 800. Now what was x? x was usual speed. But he is asking us to find the original duration. That means usual time. This one. And so your answer will be obtained if you substitute x as 800 here. And that gives me the usual duration or the usual time as 2800 upon 800 which comes out to be how much? 28 upon 8, 7 by 2, 3 and a half hours is the usual duration of the flight. See friends how I formulated the equation, how I got to my final answer. Likewise, you have a question of upstream and downstream motion of boats here. So we need to find the speed of the stream. Speed of boat in still water is given. Speed is 18 km per hour in still water. So whenever you have the speed in still water given to you in the question here as 18 kmph, you need to assume the speed of the stream as x. Let speed of stream equal to x kmph. Okay. Now from these two, we have the speed upstreams okay, and the speed downstreams. Now these are the two speeds which you will be using in the equation. Speed upstreams 18 minus x and speed downstreams 18 plus x. Now this is the basic concept of the upstream and downstream motion of boats. Right. So what is the question now? Uh, whose speed is this in still water takes one hour more to go 24 km upstream. So the formula for time is distance upon speed, right? And the distance given here is 24 kilometers. Now it is going upstreams. So the time to go 24 km upstream will be what? 24 upon the speed upstreams is 18 minus x. Right? And this time and the time to return downstream will be the same distance with a different speed. When it returns downstream, the downstream speed has to be taken and that is 18 plus x. Obviously, the time taken for upstream motion is more and downstream motion is less. The time difference between these two is 1 hour, see, 1 hour more. And here we have the formulation of the question. And now, ultimately what you have to do is you have to take the LCM and solve it now. So, 18 minus x and 18 plus x in the denominator. Here you cross multiply like this and like this. You can solve it like that. Or there is a 24 which is common, right? So I can take that 24 to the other side and make it 1 by 24. That will be easier. So I have to just do 1 times this. So 18 plus x minus 1 times this is 18 plus x again. So the 18 cancels out. And then we have 2x, right? So cross multiply like this and like this. So this is 324 minus x square. I use the identity. Equals 24 times 2x is 48x. So we have the quadratic x square plus 48x minus 324 equal to 0. See, formulation of the quadratic equation. Now once you have a quadratic, you know how to solve the quadratic by splitting the middle term, right? So I'll leave this as a DIY for you. 
so that you can solve it and get me the value of x. What is required in the question? He is asking us to find the speed of stream which is x and this value of x will be your answer that is the speed of stream. Okay. So take a screenshot, solve this, get this equation, solve this equation, put it in, your com in the comments here. Okay. Did you get it? Okay. Let's see this one. So again an error came. Left 30 minutes later than the scheduled time and in order to reach its destination, oh distance is given here, distance is 1500 kilometers. So if it has to cover this distance in time, obviously it has to increase the speed because it started late, right? So the speed is increased by 250 km per hour. So you have to uh, assume the usual speed first. Let usual speed equal to x k m p h. Okay. So the usual time will be distance upon speed. That is distance is 1500 upon speed is x. Right. Now new speed it's very close to the first question which I did. New speed is increase right. So x plus 250 k m p h. Now this is the new speed and therefore the new time will be again distance upon speed which is 1500 upon x plus 250. Now what is the relationship between this time and this time? It is 30 minutes because that is the time it is trying to con uh, cover up, right? So the difference between these two times is 30 minutes. So the difference means which one is greater or you should know which one is greater. Here the speed is more, so this time is less and so this time is more. So 1500 upon x minus 1500 upon x plus 250 is equal to 30 minutes which is 1 by 2 hour, that is half hour. Now how will I solve this? I will again take the 1500 out, take it to the other side. So this on the other side it will become 1 upon 3000, right? And uh, in the denominator, I will have x and x plus 250 which forms the LCM. In the numerator, 1 times this is x plus 250 itself minus 1 times x is x only. So x gets cancelled and now you can cross multiply x square plus 250x equals uh, 7 3 that, uh, 25 3 that, 75 followed by 4 zeros. And so that gives me the quadratic, this one. And solving it is very easy because the middle term splitting is very easy here. 1000 and 750, that works. So I think your factors will be x plus 1000 and x minus 750 equal to 0. This will be rejected. Why? Because this will give a negative value of x. So speed cannot be negative. And so x equal to 750, that means the usual uh, speed, usual speed will be 750 kilometers per hour. So this is just about how to solve the equation, right? Formulation is important, understanding is important to crack these type of questions.